Hi, I'm Dean Pelletier at the K-Tech Engine Lab to show you on how to set lift or preload the right way. Here are the tools that you need to do the push rod preload with. Here are your push rod measuring devices. Here's your adjustable push rod, your speed handle, and socket. You can use either one of these measuring devices to measure the push rod length. First thing you have to do is get the camshaft and base circle. After you get the camshaft and base circle, you use your adjustable push rod to set it at zero lash. Once you get it at zero lash, you find out your length on that push rod and you add another 70 thousandths to it, which would give you the preload that you need. First of all, you have to remove the rocker arms. You only have to remove one intake and one exhaust. First of all, I'm going to check the preload on the intake. First thing you have to do is find a base circle on intake. The quickest way of doing that is finding where the exhaust lobe is just starting to open. And that's just starting to open right now. So we know that the intake is on base circle. Base circle is the lowest point on the cam lobe. Now what we want to do is put the adjustable push rod in to set this at zero lash. Basically no movement in the rocker arm. You want to start out a little bit loose and then keep on moving it out until there's no movement. It's perfect right there. Then we go to our push rod length checker and check for the length. Seven inch is 300 and 15 thousandths. We shoot for 70 thousandths preload, so we'll just add 70 thousandths to this length and that will give us our number. And you just do the same for the exhaust, except for finding the base circle on the camshaft, you would find your base circle when the intake valve is closing. Check the exhaust. You want to get the exhaust on base circle. So, you know, it's on base circle when the intake valve is just closing. So, yeah. that's right when the lifter yeah. is going down on the intake. We'll take our adjustable push rod and set this to zero lash. Now that it's set at zero lash, put in the push rod length checker. And this measurement comes out to be 7 inch, 320 thousandths. I hope you found this helpful. Hopefully you come back soon for some more tips.